In today's video, I'm going to give my honest thoughts, feelings and opinions on World War II multiplayer asking the question, is it still good here in 2022? During this video, we will be talking about the PlayStation 4 platform as well as the PC, but keep in mind the majority of the gameplay that you are watching right now is going to be me on the PC using a controller. Something to point out for you guys that do like to still use controllers on PC, in COD World War II, there is absolutely no aim assist on the PC port. This means if you are used to actually having aim assist, you may find this a little bit challenging. However, I do really like the challenge factor, so I decided to keep going. And actually, for the majority of the time, I could keep up even with the keyboard and mouse lobbies. Like I touched on with the zombies video that I did recently on this game, I do not recommend anyone to be buying this game here in 2022. Even cheaper alternative ways to buy the game other than Steam like CD keys, the price is still a little bit too high for what I recommend. Now we can make an argument and exceptions actually for the PlayStation 4 platform if you do have some friends that still play this game. Well because it's more regularly available and it's a lot cheaper too because you're going to be finding copies of the game that are pre-owned and second hand. However, when you do embark on your multiplayer journey, I will warn you right now, DLC content is barely being played on both platforms. You will be lucky if you even see a DLC map being played. On PC, you probably never will see it. On PlayStation 4, you're more likely. But anyway, let's now switch gears and talk about the community a little. This is a COD game after all, so it's no surprise that I'm going to say that mod menu users and cheaters are still here. Even when this game was in its life cycle, I remember World War 2 having a big problem with this. Now the way that I bypass this is by playing off peak. I actually chose to play this game around 3 o'clock in the morning to 7 and I did that for a few days. When playing off peak I only came across maybe one or two in the couple of days that I played. When playing on peak I came across quite a few, let me just tell you. During my time playing I was trying to keep track of the guys that were like really sus, like the ones that you can obviously tell are using some kind of wall hack or aimbot because I had to maintain the perspective that I've only had 170 hours in this game and maybe 30 of those hours have actually been in the multiplayer the rest being in Zombies. In my personal opinion, this is one of the weaker card titles, however, I do think it's a lot better than Vanguard, because it does offer the challenge of having no aim assist, meaning that it engages me a little bit more when I play it that way. The gunplay has never been wowing or fantastic to me, and the map design is a little bit too simple, a bit too linear, the environment and the atmosphere really isn't, I don't know, it's its not impressive, let's say. It's funny how the zombies could have a really good atmosphere on like the darkest shore, but in multiplayer, I don't really buy it that much. I don't get stuck in the illusion. I, I kind of know that I'm playing a multiplayer game and I don't feel as immersed. On the flip side though, I did actually have a better experience with the game than I thought I was gonna have. Again, maybe some of my past criticisms have been a little bit too harsh, on World War 2 and I think that comes from the perspective of seeing newer COD and maybe a little bit of an acceptance of like given its age, given the fact of when it came out, it was alright. It's not going to win any prizes anytime soon or any prizes during its life cycle but it's acceptable because it can be enjoyable at times. Something that I haven't really pointed out about this game in the past there's not really much room for changing up your playstyle in this game, despite the equipment and the guns that you've got. As you'll see in the gameplay, I do try and change up the weapons that I'm using. However, no match I actually played stood out to me and I was like, okay, that's an amazing moment I need to point it out in the video because every match just felt like a carbon copy of one another. Maybe this feeling was inflated by the fact that only team deathmatch is being played. Therefore, it kind of lacks in diversity. If you want to play other game modes, you have to go and play 24 hour shipment or whatever that playlist is called. Because that's the only way that you're going to be able to play Domination, Capture the Flag, Kill Confirmed and the other game modes. Which honestly is a grueling affair when I actually did it for the game footage. World War 2's gameplay and shipment do not go well together. In the last 30 days, the average player count within World War II multiplayer is actually 268, which is a higher player count than I thought it was going to be. 
especially when I did my previous zombies video, I actually had trouble getting into multiplayer games. I gave it a day or two after that video though, went back and I was able to find games. Strange how that happened. Now, I don't know if this is server side or whether it's to do with people using mod menus, but I did come across a pretty big glitch. And what you're seeing on screen right now is that glitch. This is where the map just didn't load up and we could see each other and shoot each other from the opposite side of the map. Is this actually a map or something? Because it's proper weird. Players were spawning right next to me that were on the enemy team. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever seen this before and what your theory is on how it actually came to be. Because maybe it is to do with people using mod menus or maybe it is to do with the server side and it is just a glitch with the game. So it's conclusion time, you will be able to find a game, DLC content is not being played. The community kind of sucks like all CODs, people use mod menus and so on. There's weird glitches, you won't be able to play any other game mode other than Team Deathmatch unless you play Shipment. Don't buy the game here in 2022 unless you've got a buddy playing it on console with you. And that's about it, please like the video if you enjoyed the content today, subscribe to the channel if you are new, leave a comment about what you think about this game and its current state, and I hope today's video was informative if you are wondering about the experience that you can have here in 2022 when it comes to COD World War 2. Anyway, with that said, I have been Tech from Tech Evolved and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.